What's up, Cusa here, and we all knew there was only a matter of time before I made a WoW guide. So the reason I'm making this video is because every other video I looked at was absolute garbage. Took me like well over an hour to find out how to actually do what I'm about to show you. Uh, all the videos were like 30 plus minutes with no timestamps. Like why would you make a detailed week or a guide and no timestamps? So uh, this is my attempt at making a shorter and more straight to the point video. So in the middle of my screen, we can see four icons. We got mind play, that's there for right range check. So if I'm too far away, it's gonna gray out. If I'm in range, it's gonna light up. I then have mind blast and death um, to show uh, my cooldowns. I also have weakened soul over here because uh, weakened soul has a far longer like debuff cooldown than you know the shield itself. So, uh, we'll just kill this little duder here. So we'll use Mind Blast, and goes on cooldown. We'll use Death, and goes on cooldown. Also, thank you for not critting, so that this little bastard will die slower. And uh, I will now show you how to make this. So we'll start off by typing slash WA to get the weak wars options. Uh, if you're planning on making multiple, um, if you want to make like more, like two or three weak wars, I would suggest uh, you, you go, uh, click new aura and then group. Because then it's going to make a group like this, and then you put all your weak wars inside there. But for this example, I am not going to do that. Uh, uh, you also want to make sure that lock positions is not um, highlighted. So we'll do new aura and then icon. And we will do psychic screen for this example. Uh, in the display tab, uh, the first thing we want to do is show cooldown because that's what we want to do. Uh, you, if you want to use inverse or not, that's up to you. Um, you see what, you know, it just kind of changes the dark to the bright, so we'll do inverse. The rest of uh, this display tab we'll worry about later. So we'll go into trigger, and then under trigger one, we'll swap to spell. And then we have cooldown charges and count. And then we type in either the spell ID or the spell name itself. So I'll do psychic cream and then I'll click OK. Uh, I'm also going to go into load. So here you can actually choose uh, when it's going to load or when it's like going to show. Uh, also, I think I forgot show always. So on, on down here, you can um, choose when you want to see it. And I always want to see it. So on load, you can actually do, if you're playing multiple classes like I do, you'll do play a class and then priest. Which, so if you're playing, say, a rogue as well, then this weak war is not going to show up on your rogue. So it's only going to show up here. Now, sometimes I've noticed uh, for this little thing over here to work, uh, you have to actually add in the spell name here as well. Not always, but sometimes. And uh, it should work now. So let's, let's test it out. So we'll activate the Psychic Scream, and we can now see the cooldown. Now, um, as you can see though, it's a little... The edges are a little ugly, they're kind of round, and down here you can see mine are perfectly square. So I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So we'll go into Display. Uh, under Extra Options, we will click zoom and we'll do 25% and we can then also at, down at the bottom we can add border uh, and we'll choose I think blizzard party is what I usually do and then we can do like one over here and you can see it's already a, a bit prettier so uh, if, if you go to display as well you can um, you can change the size of it, you can uh, make it a little bit smaller, like 30 by 30 for instance. Uh, I don't 
shelves. It's a little bit smaller than I have these, but whatever. Uh, we'll pop them back up to 60 just for you know the sake of. So um, I'll also show you how I did the range check a little bit quickly because that would be the last thing on uh, this video, I guess. So we go into priest. I'm actually going to delete this, by the way, because I'm not going to use this. Um, actually, it would be nice to have it there, but whatever. So we'll go to mind play. So we did everything, uh, the exact same thing, uh, except we don't click show cooldown. Uh, and on our trigger, we choose spell, action usable, and then we have the spell name. And then we add a condition, spell in range, false, desat uh, desaturate. And that is pretty much all I did. I also did uh, play class and spell known here, obviously. And uh, that is how you make um, a, uh, a cooldown ability, Guikora. Thank you, and I see you next video in like two years. Bye.